Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss Navy's classifier algorithm with a very simple numerical example. Bayes theorem is the basic uh, building block for Navy's classifier. So first we will try to understand what is uh, Bayes theorem. The Bayes theorem is defined with this particular formula where uh, probability of H given D is called as uh, posterior probability, which is equivalent to probability of D given H that is uh, current probability probability of h that is called as uh, prior probability divided by probability of t that is the probability of the given data set. In this case uh, d is the data set h represent an hypothesis from a hypothesis place here. So what we do in this case is uh, for all uh, possible hypothesis h in the hypothesis space we calculate the posterior probability using this particular formula. And then uh, the one hypothesis which will give you the maximum value that will be considered as the final answer in this case. So that can be represented in the form of a formula like this H map is equivalent to ARG max of uh, probability of H given D that is nothing but posterior probability for all hypothesis in the set of hypothesis space over here. So we calculate this one for all the hypothesis the one which will give you the maximum answer as I said earlier that will be the final uh, hypothesis over here. Now this will be expanded something like this one uh, the same thing whatever is here I have written it over here probability of D given H probability of H divided by probability of D here and uh, whenever you try to calculate this particular posterior probability this denominator is common for all the hypothesis because let us say that uh, the hypothesis is uh, uh, either yes or no if that is the case the probability of d given s probability of s divided by probability of d if it is no probability of d given no probability of no divided by probability of d so what happens in this case is uh, every time we are trying to divide this uh, numerator by the same value here so rather than considering this one we will remove it so the final uh, h map will become uh, arg max of uh, probability of d given h probability of h for all hypothesis in the hypothesis space over here now this is how actually the Bayes theorem looks like. Now uh, we cannot use this particular Bayes theorem to solve the real world problem because in this case uh, D is uh, uh, the data set over here but in real world the data set contains multiple number of attributes and so on. So what we have to do here is we have to accommodate those particular attributes. Let us say that uh, there are some n attributes are there they are represented like a1, a2, an. So we need to accommodate these particular thing in the same formulae. And uh, we will say that particular uh, resulting hypothesis as VMAP in this case. So this is what is called as HMAP. So what we do here is VMAP is always equal to ARG max of here we have written probability of uh, H given D. In this case H is replaced by VJ. VJ is an a hypothesis from set of all hypothesis over here. And D is replaced by A1, A2, AN that is the set of uh, attributes in this particular case. Now uh, we will follow the same process what we have followed to get the final H map in this case uh, to get the final V map here. So first what we do is uh, we will try to expand this particular term probability of H given D is written as probability of D given H probability of H divided by probability of D. So in this case it will become probability of A1 to AN given VJ probability of Vj divided by probability of a1 to an. So wherever there is a d is there it is replaced by a1 to an. Wherever there is h is there it is replaced by Vj in this particular case. And denominator part we have removed here the same thing is done in this case also. But coming back to this equation if you look at here this one is probability of Vj. So this can be written as it is no issues. But this is a probability of a1 to an given vj here. So this can be uh, represented something like this. That is probability of a1 given vj multiplied by probability of a2 given vj and so on. So because it's a multiplication term, I have written it as multiplication of probability of ai given vj for all possible values of i in this case. So this is what is called as final uh, vmap or you can say that is also called as vnb that is the new base classifier in this case. So we use this equation to calculate the uh, posterior probabilities for each and every hypothesis. The one hypothesis which will give you the maximum value that will be considered as the solution in this case. Now we will take a very simple example to understand this particular uh, Nebes uh, classifier equation. Let us say that uh, this is the data set uh, given to us uh, where we have 14 uh, instances and uh, 4 attributes over here and play tennis is the final uh, target in this case. And uh, we want to classify this new example where outlook is equal to sunny, temperature is equal to cool, 
humidity is equal to high and wind is equal to strong either as yes or no in this case. Now if you want to classify this one we need to use this equation and uh, when you use this equation there are two possible hypotheses are there in this case one is yes another one is no. So this equation can be expanded something like this. So left hand side can be written like uh, probability of uh, yes given new instance is equivalent to this term probability of yes multiplied by this multiplication term will become something like this one probability of ai given vj ai can be outlook temperature humidity or wind in this case so that's the reason we will write probability of uh, outlook is equal to sunny given s because it is given to us probability of uh, temperature is equal to cool given s next one is probability of humidity is equal to high given s the last one is probability of uh, wind is equal to strong given s in this case similarly there is another uh, possible hypothesis that is no so we write probability of no given new instance probability of no this is the first one so probability of uh, sunny given no cool given no high given no and last one is strong given no in this case now once you solve these particular two equations you will get probability of yes given new instance and no given new instance the one which is having maximum value that is the final answer because we have here arg max in this case so to do this particular uh, uh, calculation first we need probability of yes and probability of no probability of yes is equal to 9 by 14 because we have 9 yes examples are there and uh, probability of no is equal to 5 by 14 because we have 5 no examples are there in this case so these two are available with us next we need to know what is the probability of outlook is equal to sunny given s here similarly probability of uh, temperature is equal to cool given s and so on so to get this particular condition probabilities we will uh, write a contingency table here uh, this is how the contingency table for outlooks look like so this is the attribute name these are the possible values here we have the possible targets in this case so whenever we have outlook is equal to sunny we need to count total number of examples so if you count here one two three four and five so totally five examples are there out of five first one is no second one is no third one is no fourth and fifth one are yes here so uh, whenever outlook is equal to yes, sunny the two yes examples are there and three no examples are there two examples out of nine yes and three examples out of five no examples in this case so that is how actually we need to write the probability here this can be read something like this one probability of outlook is equal to sunny given s is two s examples out of nine uh, s examples over here outlook is equal to sunny given no out of uh, outlook is equal to sunny uh, out of five examples three are no and the total number of no examples are five here Similarly, we can calculate the probability of outlook is equal to overcast given is probability of outlook is equal to overcast given no that is probability of outlook is equal to overcast. So we need to count how many overcast examples are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 are there. So out of 4, first one is yes, second one is yes, third one is yes and fourth one is also yes here. So outlook is equal to overcast given yes that is 4 yes examples are there out of total 9 yes examples zero no examples are there out of total uh, five no examples similarly we need to calculate the one more probability here the same thing is repeated for temperature humidity as well as wind in this case so once you calculate all these particular probabilities you need to put these particular values over here that is probability of s is known to us that is 9 by 14 second one is probability of sunny is equal and sunny given s is required that is probability of outlook is equal to sunny given s is 2 by 9 here probability of temperature is equal to cool given s is that is 2 by 9 uh, temperature is equal to cool given s uh, that is temperature is equal to cool given s is 3 by 9 probability of uh, humidity is equal to high given s that is again 3 by 9 and so on so once you put all these values in this equation you will get the probability of uh, yes given new instance is 0 0.0053 probability of no given new instance is 0 0.0206 in this case between these two the second one is more that is probability of no given new instance is more than probability of yes given new instance hence the new example will be classified as no in this particular case so in this video i have explained uh, what is uh, naive bayes theorem how naive bayes theorem is adapted to uh, solve the real world problem with the help of a naive bayes classifier and uh, how to apply naive bayes classifier to the given data set to classify a new example into one of the classes 
I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.